Hi, this is Fadi Hayek, and this is the Alpha Channel by SSL. The Alpha Channel is a brand new channel strip that's de been developed by SSL uh, to take advantage of a lot of the technology, again, that was available uh, on our console and bring it at a, an affordable channel strip for everyone working, especially in digital audio workstations. So the Alpha Channel is comprised of a mic pre, an EQ section, and a 24-bit, 192 kilohertz converter. Um, starting with the microphone pre, you'll notice it's a, it's a three-pin uh, XLR with a center quarter-inch input that can also feed uh, line as well as um, instrument input. You also have a line input available on the back of the unit, uh, so if you want to patch in your line signal permanently, you don't have to have a cable hanging out of the uh, the front all the time. Uh, the input section is uh, uses a microphone pre based on the uh, the one that's available on the duality console. It's called Variable Harmonics Drive Microphone Pre, and this mic pre actually uh, has a patented well near soon to be patented technology by SSL uh, that will va uh, variate harmonics, second and third order harmonics, to create all kinds of colorations to the microphone pre. So where most microphone pre's tend to have a specific type of sound, by actually adding more gain onto this input, you're, uh, you're adding the variable harmonic signal to the microphone pre, making it warmer or uh, more transistor uh, type sound. So you can variate those harmonics by using this selection knob here, as well as overdriving the microphone pre has its own unique characteristics as well. Uh, that's why you'll notice there's actually uh, no um, uh, um, VU that tells you that you're overdriving the microphone because characteristically this microphone, uh, microphone pre is designed so that when you do uh, you apply um, uh, overdrive, you're actually working with the harmonics and uh, altering those harmonics to create all kinds of colorations. So you can get everything from uh, a two bass sound all the way to a, um, a bright transistor sound if you're interested. Uh, this microphone pre also has uh, the hi -Z selection on the front, a pad, a uh, 20 dB pad, 48 volt phantom power supply switch, and a Q phase reverse um, button. Uh, this mic pre has an insert section for a dynamics uh, processor, like a compressor, where you can just drop in on an input and an output on the back. You have the ability to just insert in another effects unit. That can, of course, be a dynamics processor or it could be a reverb unit, whichever one you want. Uh, that, that can be inserted right in just by hitting that input button. You can also sum that signal so that you can actually retain the original dry signal and mix the dynamic signal, the signal that's going through the insert bus, to come up with some very unique and in, in interesting possibilities that way. You can also set the insert bus to be post-EQ versus normally where it's pre-EQ with this button here. Next on the list is you've got the filter. Uh, now normally our SSL 9, uh, 9000 pre's have a, uh, a variable high-pass, low-pass filter. This is a switchable uh, high-pass filter. Uh, the first button turns on the 40 hertz. The second turns on the 80 hertz, and the two turns on the 120 hertz uh, filters. Um, the next section is the EQ section. And again, what we've done here is we've taken the EQ that's uh, in the 9000, and we've brought it down and scaled it down so that it's more of the necessary elements of the EQ. So for example, we've got the high pass, uh, the high shelf, low shelf EQ with the uh, switchable bell parametric bell that, you, that is usually found on the 9000 EQ. And we chose to actually put the low, uh, that feature on the low pass because predominantly most of our customers uh, love this function mainly on the low pass. So we felt for, uh, in order to try to cut costs on the product, we put it where it's most necessary. That feature is most necessary. We also put in a uh, mid-band uh, EQ. Now normally this mid-band uh, normally on the, uh, on the 9000 uh, mic pre's, 
and sorry, the 9000 uh, EQ section, you'll have two mid bands. This one actually sits right in the middle as far as the frequency, uh, frequency sweep. Uh, and it's a G-series type EQ. So it sort of sits right there in the middle of what you would normally have with the two mid-band uh, parametrics on the, the full G and E-series EQs. Uh, there's also a built-in limiter which you can engage with this button. Uh, now the reason for that limiter is that in case you overdrive the signal slightly and you happen to be using the 24-bit uh, 192 kilohertz A to D converter that's packaged uh, with this unit, uh, you won't overdrive the A to D converter. So it's like basically a last um, uh, check before the conversion process takes place. Uh, you also, on, this, on this side here, you can see your uh, VU display as well as your ADC, your analog to digital converter lock. Uh, and like I said, this unit comes with a 24-bit 192 kilohertz converter uh, as standard equipment with the unit. So as you can see, you've got uh, the full legacy of SSL packaged in a low cost solution uh, all the way up to your conversion process so if you've purchased the sound card and you're not quite happy with what you're getting there's no need for you to dump that sound card you can supplement this product right into it and the alpha channel will take care of your microphone signal your EQ so that you can get a really nice uh, analog signal and then convert that signal directly to digital in the back. Now, just a couple of points on the converter itself. The converter can be locked to an external source. It does have SPDIF outputs and uh, SPDIF input on the back. So the, the input, it can be utilized for two things. One, it can be used as a clock, like a word clock input source. So if you want to clock it to an external source, you do that via SPDIF. You can also use that external, that extra input as a way to feed stereo signals. So if you want to pick up two of these, you can feed stereo uh, digital conversion from two alpha channels right into your computer. Um, and you know, it's a really low cost system. It's 1895 uh, is the list on it, and it's 1695 is the MAP.